Okay, quick video today. Gonna show you two tools, the screwdriver and our uh, our strike hammer from Neodent. This was used with our 2.9 facility implant. This guy is a spring-loaded strike hammer. So this is spring-loaded. And if I put my finger on the other end, I feel this thump from this guy. So one way to look at this, this happens to be a CM, but we're looking at a screw-retained restoration in the posterior, right? And if we were to back the screw all the way up, let me get on this guy, right? And I back this up. I keep turning and I hear click, 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 click. I know that the screw is backed up out of the implant, right? But if I had a pair of forceps and I was trying to grab and pull this abutment, I can't get it out. One of our methods was to place this on the facial of the abutment, right? and then pull on the back of this thing, give it a couple taps, and that would break <clears throat> that cold weld seal on a Morris taper with our abutment. But let me show you something very simple. Thank you, John Lewengraff, also showing this to me the other day. But if I'm backed all the way up, if I go counterclockwise and simply rock, right? I heard it. If I just keep rocking the abutment, right? and I should be able to pull right up and get that guy out. So I backed it all the way up. I'm rotating, rotating, rotating counterclockwise. Sorry that I'm moving the model a lot. I'm trying to do this with my hands. And out comes the abutment right away. Cool? Hope that helps. See you guys.